our top story tonight, the owner of Kissing Tree Vineyards has surrendered to the FBI. Chris Greider is one of the dozens of people facing charges related to the siege on Capitol Hill. Six News reporter Barry Roy breaks down the criminal complaint for us tonight. It's been just over two weeks since rioters stormed the U.S. Capitol in an attempt to overthrow democracy. Since then, more than 85 people have been charged. Thursday, we learned that one of those rioters, Christopher Greider, surrendered to the FBI and will have an arraignment hearing Friday morning at 11 a.m. An arrest warrant was issued Thursday for Greider for his admitted involvement in the deadly riots. According to a criminal complaint obtained by 6 News, Greider was seen in the rotunda, the hallways of the House of Representatives, and several other areas before eventually arriving outside the Speaker's lobby. Oh, that like a shot. The affidavit also states Greider was seen in the vicinity of where Ashley Babbitt was fatally shot by a Capitol Police officer. Greider is facing at least three charges including property damage charges, and depending on the amount of damage, that charge could carry up to 10 years in prison. He's facing trespassing charges, as well as a charge of knowingly entering or remaining in any restricted building or grounds without lawful authority. He also faces a charge of violent entry and disorderly conduct on Capitol grounds. Oh. United States Attorney Greg Silver also filed a motion of detention against Greider, stating his detention for three days reasonably assures the appearance of the person is required, also saying doing so will assure the safety of the community or any other person. <laughs> In Bruce Valletti, Barry Roy, 6 News. And tonight we learned that the U.S. Attorney's Office, once Grider jailed with no bond, will keep you updated as this story progresses.